what's up youtube welcome back to my youtube channel i'm filming very very late but i have to get this video out for you guys because the month is about to end so it's pretty dumb that you know i post this video until next month because it's not gonna go along with it so right now it is 1 48 a.m i have no makeup on i'm sorry i know it's weird that i do makeup videos and i don't have makeup on like it doesn't make sense you know i'm gonna do this video for you guys that way i can put it out tomorrow and it doesn't transfer on until the next month with that being said today i am going to be unboxing my may 2020 ipsy glam bag i do have the most basic one the one that you pay 12 dollars and some change for i will be linking my referral code down below i don't get paid by ipsy or anything like that it just gives me points so that i can buy products from their site it kind of sucks that i get this product pretty late in the mail i don't know why i always get it like towards the end of the month it is may 30th but i got it may 29th and i wasn't even expecting this package to come in today just because on my ipsy page it did say that i was gonna get it until like june 5th and i was kind of pissed about that you know i do ipsy bag unboxings and it kind of doesn't make sense to like do a may ipsy bag unboxing and post it on june so i was thinking of canceling but luckily it came in for the month of may so yeah let's go ahead and get started with that but before we get started with this video make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications that way more of my weekly videos can show up on your feed and you don't miss any of my videos so let's go ahead and get started for what you guys came for i'm gonna be unboxing my ipsy bag i already saw what i got um and i'm not too content to be honest i didn't really like what they sent me but i am so obsessed with the bag that they sent like this is totally me i remember in elementary school they would ask me like oh what are your favorite colors and i would be like oh pink and yellow pink and yellow and this is like my childhood like it came to life you know so this is what the bag for this month looks like at this time on the little card that they always send they usually put like the products that you received but this time they didn't put anything um i don't know why or i don't know if they missed mine but it just gives you like some highlighter 101 tips um and it gives you the theme for this month which is glow so it kind of sucks just because i like telling you guys the full size prices or if i got a deluxe sample or like a full size so I'm not going to be able to tell you guys that today. Um, if I can find it, I will totally leave it down in the description below. But for now, I'm just going to be showing you what they sent me real quick. Um, I am going to start off with this one item that I was super excited for. So I actually got a brush for this month. And this is a Farrah brush. Um, I swear the card makes it so much easier for me to read the products to you guys. That way you guys can know exactly what I'm getting but i don't have it and it sucks that i didn't get it because it has a lot of information on there that you guys find useful but we're gonna do with what we have today so this is by the brand Farah brushes and i think this brush does retail for like 20 dollars or more and it's just a little blending brush as you can see right there it's a little short dense type of blending brush and this is the so i kind of do hate that i'm not recording on my camera camera but okay there it kind of got it there a little bit so this is a blender brush 25 el brush in case you guys wanted to know the exact brush that i got this one is it and i don't know i think this one does feel a little bit better than the previous brush that i had gotten in my previous ipsy bag so if you haven't watched that video yet i will link it up here that way you guys can just click it and go back to that if you guys want to see what i got there but I think I do think this one is a little bit better and I do like that it actually fits inside the bag because I like keeping a very minimalist bag on hand. I actually have it here. Um and I just throw in like my go-to um makeup products on there when I'm on the go or just to quickly grab when I'm heading out of the house because I don't have that much time to get ready. So this one is going to be a good addition because I've just been using my finger to apply eyeshadow just because I don't have a small brush that will actually fit in the bag so i'm definitely going to be keeping this one and i'm super excited to keep this one um for that reason so the next product that i got is the auto balm pick perf shadows on the go and this is by the brand the balm um i do know that this brand is kind of pricey i've never really tried it just because i feel like these type of brands usually have like cool tones to them and like i said it is 
kind of more on the cool tone side and I am a little bit more on the warm skin tone so I don't know how this is gonna look on me I will probably give this away in a giveaway or just give it away to somebody that I know like one of my sisters or something but this is in the shade Saint Charles and as you can see it's a super brown taupey color and it's a matte it's gonna be the perfect transition color and just a super simple base overall if you don't want to do your makeup too dramatic you can literally just pop this on in your crease and your eyelid and apply some eyeliner and eyelashes and your makeup is going to look so bomb with some nice highlighter so this is a perfect little eyeshadow to do that if you just want to toss it in your bag to keep as an extra but i already have some warm tones that are single pants as well so i don't really need this but I don't know, maybe I might keep it and try it out just because, like I said, I've never actually tried this brand out. But I don't know. I need to decide on this one. Moving on to the next product, I am super excited about this one. And I've been wanting to get something like this just because my lips have been super neglected. I have not been taking care of my lips I remember I used to exfoliate them every like two or three days and like I would even put it like brush it with a toothbrush just to get rid of all the dead skin and make my lips more plump but that was back in the day when I was super obsessed with having like bigger plumper lips but now I'm over that so I haven't really done that but now that I got this I am excited to try this out I did get this sugar lip polish and the brand is New Body and this is in the flavor Piña Colada shit it fell off I haven't really smelled it or anything mmm it smells so bomb it literally smells like a piña colada if you've had a piña colada it smells like that but with a bunch of whipped cream on top and a cherry but yeah this is what it looks like as you can see it does have like little granules on there and i'm guessing it's because of the lip exfoliating effects so i'm super excited to try this one out and i will definitely let you guys know if i do end up liking this one or not i really want to know if this one is a sample size or not <sighs> but they didn't send the freaking card so i can't tell you guys that but i think it, it might be a full size to be honest but i did also receive the tarte h2o gloss and i did get it in the shade below deck this is definitely a sample size it's way too small to be a full size but it's good to try out and keep it on the go you know i'm not sure how i feel about the shade just because i do lean more towards like brown neutral nude colors this one is a little bit more on the pink side but i do have a feeling that it's gonna look good on my skin tone so i don't know um i need to try it out and see what it looks like it's definitely a good little addition to my minimalist makeup bag and i'm excited to add that in there as well and then lastly, I am super excited for this one just because I did receive their foundation. I think it was in the January bag. I'm not too sure, but I do know that I have the foundation sample for this same brand and the same line. So this is the Yenza Color and Face Skin on Skin BC Concealer. It is a BB and CC concealer. So it claims to be full coverage, but you know how BB and TC creams go. They're supposed to be like super lightweight. I haven't even tried out the foundation just because I was waiting for this little concealer to come in. That way I could try both of them out on camera for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, and that way I can let you guys know what I feel about it. But this one is in the shade medium warm and it does feel like it comes with a lot of product. Um, so hopefully this lasts me a long time just because sometimes I don't even do my foundation I'll just add some concealer and that's it. I'm good to go Like I don't even care what the rest of my skin looks like as long as I look a little bit more awake That's it. I can head out the door and that sums it up guys. That's all I got for this month um, I feel like I got very little products compared to previous months and also I do feel like I didn't get like much of a variety in like samples or full-size products usually i'll get like two or three full-size products and then the rest will be samples but it's okay that was it for this little unboxing guys like i said i don't know why they send me my stuff super late it kind of sucks just because i did get ipsy just so i can show you guys what they send out each month and it sucks that i can't show you guys like in the beginning of the month what they're sending out but it is what it is. We're working with what we have. Definitely let me know if you guys do enjoy watching these type of videos. And if you guys want me to keep up with the subscription. And you guys want me to keep showing you what Ipsy sends every single month. If not, I think I'm just going to cancel it to be honest. 
because I feel like these type of videos don't really get views or maybe it's because I upload it like super late in the month because again, they don't send it to me in the beginning of the month. I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. I'm sorry that I look like a whole mess. Like look at my hair. Oh guys, and I did do this tie-dye hoodie myself. Look how cute it looks. It is a little bit too small though. Like I'll lift up my hand and you're gonna see my sports bra there. But I'm wearing a sports bra and I'm here at the house. So it's definitely super cozy and comfy, especially with this rainy weather. So if you haven't watched my DIY on how to achieve this tie-dye hoodie with no rubber bands, none of that, crazy stuff only bleach i will link it down below and i'll also add a card up here that way you guys can just click on it and it'll take you on there but yeah that's it for this video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys